Hello everyone and welcome to another part of Let's Play Eador, Masters of the Broken World on Overlord difficulty. So, the plan for this part is simple, to finish this shard. We are standing right next to Omus uh, uh, Capital Province, so let's go there. He has Labyrinth Guards there, but uh, there shouldn't be a problem with uh, all the crowd control we have available. It will just uh, take some turns to kill them one by one. Uh, it will be easy fight. Uh, the thing I'm uh, really curious about is uh, where are Ohm's heroes? I personally would say that they will still come, that they are somewhere north and they are now running down and we will have to fight them before we are able to finish uh, this shard. But let's see, it's uh, also possible that actually he just lost both of his heroes and uh, we managed to come right in time before he can resurrect them. Uh, that would make it uh, significantly easier. I would say that he has, uh, I think, one hero that uh, still can do some damage. I don't think uh, he'll have uh, more than one uh, like a uh, full combat hero. Usually, the AI just focuses on one hero uh, and levels that really fast, and the rest is just you know exploration bots more or less. So let's see. But I'll still check my. Rituals because I will return. Actually, I probably don't have to care about rituals anymore because uh, I'll use uh, an older save for the farming I'm planning to do off camera on this shard to level up our army. Yeah, I mean, we can just finish this as soon as possible. Okay, go. Six Minotaurs, no surprise. And one thing that will make this easier is that uh, the difficulty of this fight is not actually overall but just master because the guard of the AI has the same strength or same uh, difficulty level as the AI that hired it. So because we are still quite early in the campaign, uh, our opponent is just the master difficulty. Uh, so yeah, you can see that these guys are not that strong, only around 50 hit points, 50-60. Uh, so it will be a bit faster than uh, against uh, Labyrinth Guard of Overlord difficulty. I've already talked about this uh, in one previous part, but if you are uh, new to the Let's Play and uh, you skipped some of the previous parts, there are two difficulties basically. One difficulty is the difficulty of the AI that's uh, increasing as you progress to the campaign. So when you set the difficulty to Overlord, uh, the AI early still is uh, like a master or maybe even expert very early in the campaign. And when you progress, it's uh, increasing the difficulty up to Overlord. Uh, but the map you are playing on is always Overlord. So early in the campaign, the map is actually more difficult than uh, uh, units of the AI. But later in the campaign, when... Uh, when uh, the AI gets to the Overlord level, uh, then it uh, becomes uh, really quite interesting like having an Overlord map that's slowing you down. And Overlord AI can usually handle it quite well late in the campaign. Then you will see the proper Overlord. Okay, um, what else can we do here? Let's uh, start shooting. And maybe I'll have to slow some of these guys down. Um, you can do some damage. I definitely don't want uh, to allow too many of them to come close to me. Okay, my golem is down, but I still have uh, now enough time to kill all of them with my range units. This guy will be sleeping for 12 turns, so I don't have to care about him, so I think we are fine. Okay, can you finish him? Almost. Okay, let's um, give the last to this lizard man. Uh, you can shoot, and... Uh, 
you can shoot as well. Next. Oh, he has forced march. Ouch, that hurt. I should probably check uh, if there is anyone else with forced march. These two guys, this guy doesn't have it. So, I probably should kill uh, this Minotaur before he can get to me, but I don't think I'll be able to do that. Mm, let's actually use, where is it, Astral Energy. That should work. Okay, another one is down. Why is it not coming to me? Well, because of that swamp, he's just waiting to regain some uh, stamina. Uh, let's move forward with these two ghouls. I can do that and maybe position the slug on the hill. Move sorcerer closer. Okay, next. Now he's coming. So. <coughs> oh, sorry. Uh, let's do as much damage as possible. And you can maybe finish. Yep, perfect. How long? Seven turns. More than enough. Okay. You have time to heal yourself. Next turn. One, two, three, four ghouls around will be more than enough. Time for VAP. And let's do some range damage. And finish. Okay. So, this wasn't hard as expected. But uh, yeah, the higher difficulty of the AI, the more dangerous this guard is. And uh, don't underestimate the uh, Minotaurs. Never underestimate Minotaurs. With the Berserking, they are still strong, even if they have, I don't know, 5 hit points. Uh, they are still hitting like a truck. Uh, to they are hitting even harder on the low, lower hit points. So, guard like this can uh, significantly uh, damage. Like even a pretty strong army, so always be careful uh, against Minotaurs. And that's the reason why huge armies of Minotaurs, and you can have armies with 16 Minotaurs of level 25 plus, are one of the toughest uh, opponents you can uh, you can face. But the rewards from such fights are just amazing. It's better than from dragons most of the time. But it's uh, not th this case. This uh, was uh, yeah for this army. Too easy, but the reward still quite decent. And level ups. Okay, art sorcery for you, you will get strength. And let's start the siege. Okay, what about some heroes? Still nothing to the south, and I don't think there is anything hiding to the south for the Terrans. So, continue the siege, and here we have uh, some brigands. Shouldn't be a problem. Maybe I can even. Move my hero on this hill. Uh, and you know what, right, let's uh, raise alarm, why not. Okay, can you kill the bowman? Perfect. And another guy down almost. Shoot this one. And let's uh, move in with as many units as we can. Ah, oh, come on. Can't kill it really. Well, never mind. Next turn. And finish the fight. That was too easy. What about a decent reward? Level up for the shaman. Let's grab ranged attack. And the master sword. Wow, that's a pretty good reward. Yeah, this. Uh, uh, brigand that I can sometimes bring surprisingly good items, so not bad at all. I still don't see any heroes. Did he really lost his heroes somewhere? Maybe pushing it too hard to the north? Well, let's see. Oh, what is this? We'll start exploring. Three turns, continue the siege, keep exploring. 
Uh, same for you. Brigands raided province. Uh, crap, 178 gold. Well, doesn't really matter that much. Still no heroes. I still don't want to believe that uh, he doesn't have heroes. But it seems uh, like that's the case. Well, that will make it uh, much easier, so let's we'll just wait two turns. No, no, I think I see one here. Yeah. Oh, and that's um, a scout. I was hoping that uh, he started with something else than scout. It's possible that it's not his main hero, it's just an exploration bot, but if it's uh, his main hero, uh, this could still be interesting. Okay, let's see, he will attack me no matter what, so we'll see how strong the hero is. Um, 8 units with troll. Oh, can't say much about this. Um, Okay, positioning is uh, okay-ish, I would say. Where is he? Here. Oh, level 16 archer. Okay, this is this looks like main hero. Yeah, double shot, armor piercing shot, first strike, terrain knowledge, precise shot. Okay, but resistance of two, and we are going first. This is why it's so important, especially in PvP, to have uh, high resistance and, if possible, high initiative at the same time, so uh, you can avoid this. No matter how strong the hero he hero is, one sleep just makes him totally useless and uh, thanks to one sleep we have just won the fight so let's just wait for his units I'll even still use uh, mass slow next turn and let's start shooting one two um, I think I can use a hero you can do some damage, you can shoot, you can shoot as well. Okay, next. One, two, okay, he's down. It's safe to move closer with this ghoul. And... These guys can move closer, and this guy will move away. Actually, maybe not. Maybe I will web this troll right now and uh, start doing some damage. Okay, next turn. Now it's time to move closer here. Use the second web. One, two, three. Some range damage, and uh, can you reach down there? No. Nope. So let's move closer. At least these guys can uh, can reach him, and let's move close with the second ghoul. And I think we have enough damage to kill both of them, and we still have eight turns to get uh, to the scout. Okay, move. Finish this, and these three ghouls will kill that scout. And this is a huge advantage of uh, Master Enchanter. Even if that uh, scout didn't have uh, uh, basically non-existent non resistance, I would still be able uh, to cast something on him. So if you expect the AI to have uh, a strong hero then uh, Master Enchanter is a good choice because you can easily then you know uh, use all your debuffs basically cripple the hero 
uh, if uh, I didn't have a way how to you know how to web or uh, you sleep on the on that archer, he would probably kill some of my some of my casters because once he starts shooting, especially with a double shot, it's a ton of damage. But he's dead now, so it's probably over. I'll just wait uh, for the last fight uh, in the capital. Level up, so you'll get more hit points here. Uh, probably more range defense. Yeah, I'll grab parry because um, I don't know if I talked about it or not. Um, for range unit, parry is uh, basically a double defense. Uh, it's highly unlikely that your range unit will be attacked more than once per turn if it's uh, gonna be attacked at all. So, uh, parry works only once uh, per turn. But, you know, if you play correctly, you are not gonna expose your range unit. There is a chance that sometimes one melee unit can get through, and in that case, the parry will work perfectly. So, this is a decent. Uh, survivability skill if you get it against like simple stamina uh, this could be eventually useful so I'll prioritize this over one stamina I think we are fine stamina wise for now and yeah these guys uh, sometimes could be even used uh, in case of emergency to take a hit so that very will help and I even see one more hero commander this time Okay, so let's continue the siege. Keep exploring. Uh, what is this? Baron the Witch. Uh, despite which execution, the plague doesn't cease. Yeah. Um, you can just burn your dead. I am tired of trying to. Uh, actually get something decent from those options in that uh, in that event with the witch. No matter what I do on camera, uh, it always ends up with uh, the whole province being infected. When I do it off camera, it always works. So probably I'm just not gonna try anymore. Uh, and I'll always just, just burn the witch. Okay, and here is a commander. Well, I think that's just some secondary hero. Uh, I don't think that the AI managed to level second hero uh, high enough so one short fight I would say or maybe not 13 units okay let's have a look this is definitely stronger than what I expected uh, after that archer three trolls two horsemen what the hell are you level 17 priest uh, this looks actually like a main hero. I thought that uh, the scout was main hero, but probably what happened was that the AI started with uh, commander. It's usually quite bad with commander losing units um, uh, all the time, so the leveling with the commander wasn't that fast, and it hired scout as a secondary hero, and with scout the AI is much better. So he uh, managed to catch up with the priest and ended up with two semi-decent heroes. Uh, maybe I'm even lucky that he didn't start uh, with uh, the archer. It's probably the strongest start uh, the AI has when it picks uh, Scout as a first unit and it's the most dangerous one if, he's, if uh, the AI is lucky with drops and gets uh, a decent gear together with commanders, uh, I mean with the Scout start. So it gets somehow high resistance then those are probably the toughest fights you can get and um, sometimes you can't even avoid losses uh, because the damage from archer from the double shot with high range um, is just too much for your tier 1 units uh, but here yeah you are lucky I would say just a little bit and uh, we should be able to handle both heroes quite easily I uh, don't see any dangerous stats on uh, on the priest but to make sure I'll still use uh, sleep first get 11 turns out of the fight now oh what the hell 
Oh, there was a path uh, in that forest, so I just uh, missed that there are three tiles uh, all the way to me. Okay, never mind. We can easily avoid some further damage with my slow. Now I will try to kill this horseman. Can you finish that? Ah, uh, come on. Okay, so you will finish it. Um, okay, let's infect this guy and you can shoot the brigand. And you know what, let's try to kill that gargoyle. Perfect. Next. And maybe I'll even uh, use Enslave Mind here and uh, do some damage to, to those trolls. Okay, now another horseman. One, two, three. And let's kill the brigand. One, two, uh, three. Perfect. You can move. Ah, uh, not you. You can move back. And next turn. Good. I will kill some of his units uh, by attacking the troll. You can finish this guy, you are close enough to shoot, and you can move forward and kill this brigand. You will kill the skeleton, too easy, and you can start healing yourself. Okay, and let's uh, use astral energy on this troll and try to finish this one. And I think I'll start moving forward with uh, all my ghouls so I get... Uh, to that commander ASAP. And let's also use uh, mass haste. Okay, can you finish this? Probably not, so I will just uh, kill him uh, by attacking like this. And with that mass haste, I should be able to, call, to get close enough with one of my ranch units, I hope. No? Oh, come on. Okay, then I'll kill him next turn. You can move closer, you can move closer as well. Oh, you can shoot now. No? One, two, three, four, five. I uh, could use some extra range for the sorcerer. Okay, next turn then. Um, move down, kill this guy, and I will use web on this one. And finish him. Good. And now it's time to kill the commander. Okay, so another hero down. It was a decent army, but uh, as you can see, the only units he managed to uh, keep alive were those trolls, and it's probably hard even for the AI to actually lose trolls. Uh, they can survive a lot, but the rest is all level zero, so just lost his army and recreated a new one. That's the biggest problem uh, the AI has with Commander, it just can't keep its units alive, and uh, no matter how high. Uh, level your commander is with the level zero units, it just doesn't work. So this was quite easy. Uh, here we uh, have some level ups for our units. Uh, hit points you will get forest march, two hit points for you and for you. And we can even attack already. So let's do it. One more fight, I hope he doesn't have defensive towers. He actually has one defensive tower. At least it uh, seems that this is a defensive tower and it will shoot. Or maybe I'll use a unit, I'll lose a unit in this fight. Uh, let's see. 
and maybe I'll use uh, mass haste and try to rush this. Uh, you can run. It doesn't have any range units, so we'll have to. You will have to come to me. And here I can move closer. You can move closer. You can move closer. And you as well, but still not close enough. So this guy can shoot. And this guy as well. Okay, next. Oh, yeah, I thought that uh, there will be some damage. But this is a lot. Okay, well, it doesn't help if I move back. Uh, let's cure wounds. That should give me one turn. But I think I'll lose that sorcerer. You can move in. Try to finish this guy, and you will try to dam do some damage to this one. Please, uh, attack something else. Well, this is not that much better. Okay, so I'm not gonna lose um, a sorcerer, I'm gonna lose a shaman. I'll try to help him with. Um, where is it? Stone skin, but uh, and there is no way I'd, how I'd be able to save him. Maybe if I get some of my units uh, inside and finish the fight already, that could work. Nope, don't think I'll be able to uh, one shot that lizard man. Nope. Okay, well, never mind. It doesn't really matter. We've already lost units, so we're not gonna get uh, uh, a bonus for not losing units. So. <laughs> okay, so the I even managed to do it, uh, so I didn't lose anything. Good. So this is the end of Ohm. Excellent. And let's have a look what uh, we have as a reward. Crystal Garden. Ooh, decent building when you get to it. For 45 gold, anything gems plus two, uh, gems per turn. Uh, not bad. Uh, Cathedral of Immortals. That's crap. Like for its price, you don't get anything. Like greatest hero of hero resurrection. I definitely not planning to keep losing my heroes, so don't care about that. Uh, uh, price of uh, ritual is thirty percent less. Well, sounds good, but uh, what does it mean? Like <laughs> it's only significant uh, for like tier four rituals, and when you get to tier four rituals. Most of the time you have enough resources so you don't care that they are, I don't know, 30 gems cheaper. And increase morale of capital province defenders. I'm also not planning to, like, need my uh, defenders of my capital province. So, this building is uh, kind of crap. Uh, siege works. Well, that's better. Catapults. I would like to try wharfs with uh, catapults and ballistae. Problem is with our uh, with our negative karma, it's not gonna happen off camera probably. So, yeah, we don't need this building then. But I'll definitely try something with those dwarves off camera and show you the result. I think that army has potential. Uh, knightly order, another useless building for us because uh, knights are good units, and uh, I don't think we'll need them. Journeyman Carpenter, mm, as you already know, I'm not using shops uh, at all, I would say, so I'm not happy about this uh, that much. Crystal of Power, that's a bit better. Um, cheaper new heroes, well, not that important, but uh, medium quests and some extra gems, that is quite useful, especially those medium quests, that's all uh, that these crystals are about. Uh, this is a decent building uh, on uh, bigger shards where you have time uh, to uh, go after these quests. The reward can be quite decent from this. And journeyman plate maker don't care about this at all. But this is, I, I have to say, one of the more useful uh, shops you can build uh, when you're going with the warrior. And um, for example, you just can't get decent bracers, then uh, buying these heavy bracers plus. Uh, Four hit points uh, twice can help. Like definitely better than, for example, Jeremy's Carpenter, uh, where 
if you still could use longbow or heavy crossbow as an upgrade uh, at the point where you build this then you are already in trouble so that's not that helpful okay statistics uh, how long was that? 883 years oh, that's pretty average uh, explorer nothing important you can check these stats and the penalty yeah, it's because we, I was waiting for those lizard men I think uh, it should be possible to get through those um, through that magical forest around level like 120 something like that maybe 150 with this army and finish this uh, uh, a bit faster but I really wanted to see those lizard men and uh, not just me many people told me that I really should wait to at least uh, uh, show one of those options so that's the reason why it took so long. And let's get get back to Astral. It's been a while since we have seen this last time. Uh, it uh, took us over 30 parts to kill Ohm. And what do we have here, boss? Concerning the use of your name in adventure uh, advertisements, we've had several offers. The best one is 150 energy. Do you agree? Uh, yeah, sure. And we have a new master. Hello, my boy. I'm glad to meet you. I'm Stangria, a sorceress and a seer. Perhaps you have heard of me already. Um, I think I will uh, read all of this off camera and uh, uh, stop the recording here. Maybe before that, uh, I will check off camera these tiny shards if there is anything interesting like a good unit we could get from that or a good item I will go after those but if not then I will go after another master so uh, let me know which master you want me to attack next we can uh, still attack anyone there are some masters you can't attack run away uh, I will run away right away but all these three uh, should be uh, yeah, that should be possible to attack uh, every single one of these. So if you have uh, any specific master you would like to see die, then uh, let me know. And if you don't have a good target in these neutral shards, I'll go after him. So, this is the end of this part. Ohm is dead. It's time to pick another target. So, I hope you like the end of Ohm. And uh, you'll join me for the next part for the start of another shard. Until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.